So can you define what's different about our current Franklin Home Power solution? For NBT or for net billing tariff, so um, really the differentiators in our current in interconnection environment are such that customers who already had solar before under NEM 1.0 or NEM 2.0, as they've grown, they've added onto their home, bought an EV, or whatever the case may be, their load profile has, has uh, increased, and they've now got a bigger bill when they had base, you know, may have zeroed it out in the, in the past. So they want to add more solar, they realize the benefits in the past, and they want to add more solar to offset that new load demand. Recent regulations, up until very recently, if those homeowners had added new solar to their existing NEM1 or NEM2 system, they would invalidate that interconnection agreement and be forced into the NBT tariffs. And the NBT tariffs compensate you at a tragically low rate during the day for any excess PV generation. So you might get 10 cents on the dollar or maybe even less on exported energy versus storing it in the battery. And does the utility notify you of that? Or they just say... I think that they, they'd be obligated to notify okay. you that you've okay. lost that... No uh, shady that, business? <laughs> yeah, no, no shady. Everything's above board. Okay. But you know what's changed now is, as of just a couple of months ago, all of the, the major uh, ISOs, the, the, the utilities in California, have allowed homeowners to install a non-exporting PV system sort of in a bubble mm -hmm. to that existing NEM1 or NEM2 system so that that's non-exporting so that it won't affect that NEM1 or NEM2 interconnection agreement. So those rates are left unchanged mm -hmm. as long as the new system does not export to the grid. While that's a huge deal for people in California, there's nothing particularly special about the, the use case for any manufacturer. Rather than limiting homeowners and installers from a certain type of interconnection that allows you to do that non-exporting system, which is basically behind the original NEM system, we enable that original NEM system to be interconnected on the backup loads panel, whereas other solutions don't offer that as an option. And that's kind of a big deal because when you've got that non-exporting system and your original NEM system is connected on the utility side mm -hmm. of that, that service interconnection, then when the grid goes down, that original NEM system is not part of your backup microgrid. And so that's kind of a big deal because if you've got a right size system to offset that new oh, yeah. bill, oh, yeah. you want to also have the all of the PV that's on your roof available for your, you know, as long as the grid is down, you want all of the PV and the batteries to work together. And so what we've enabled through our system, through the AP box actually, mm -hmm. is interconnecting that original NEM system onto the loads panel, still staying compliant with the, the, the updated regulations, mm -hmm. but enabling that original system to work in backup mode too. So that's kind of, a, it's, a, it's a huge deal. The details won't get into too much today, but we can definitely you know, expand on that later.